so we're back to the Nini show, 10 p.m. to midnight every Thursday, and we got the girl Koi Lorraine in the building. I know it's been like five times that we said that, <laughs> but we finally here. I don't know what what did y'all talk about while I was going for the show. No, I was just asking how yeah. What's up? What's good? You know. Okay. So for the people that don't know, mm -hmm. we need to find out. Okay. So. How old are you, first off? I'm 21. I actually just turned 21, man. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. See that time you're that you were supposed to yeah, come? I was going to get you little cupcakes. That's lit. Oh, I'm okay. sorry. Okay. But I, I, I got cupcakes sorry, in spirit. We got, we got fruit. Yeah, baby, you know I mean? baby. Now, now she want to rub people's yeah. face that she got fruit. <laughs> 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 Bad as hell. Right. I need another battery. Um, So for the people who don't know who you are, what you do, what is it that you do? Um, I, of course, I am a rapper and a singer. I make music. Um, I'm from Jersey. I'm rapping Jersey. And okay. You know, I'm just ready to just take that over Jersey. at this point. So you say you're a rapper and a singer. Yeah. What do you like to do more? Um, I don't know. It, it, I really can't. It's all about, like, I'm just all about flow, melodies, and, like, rhythm at the end of the day. I can't really say. I don't know. You don't know? Uh, which one you started doing first? Like when you started, like when you. Were I just like, be mixing it up. Like if you actually listen to the music, you'll listen to different, you know, switch ups in the in the yeah. songs. Like you know, even on some rock shit. Yeah. Like, I realized that you start rapping and then you start yeah. singing. Yeah, I try to mix it up. It's whatever I feel like. You know, how it flows. What part of Jersey are you from? Um, well, I'm repping Burton County. Um, you know, repping Burton County. Definitely. To the fullest, yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause you got me like, I'm born in Boston, though. Of course, I should have knew because that's where, that's where D's from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Area. I'm born in Boston, definitely. I'm definitely from Boston, Boston, Massachusetts, Roxbury. So that's that's, a, that's where all my family is. Oh, okay. It's just me and D out here. My brothers and my, and my mom. Okay, that's cool. Now, being 21 years old and in this music industry, how tough has it been this far? Oh man. Being a 21-year-old young female, it is a little stressful. Um, it's actually, I'm enjoying my ride. You know, I can't complain. You know, as far as like, if anything, like if you, my problem is I want it so bad. So I'm just like, I, my anxiety is pumping, you know? Like I don't take drugs or anything like that. Like I smoke a little weed or whatever. I smoke a lot of weed, excuse me. <laughs> You know, I, myself. Yeah, you know, and I, you know, I, you know, I just keep it like that. Like I just, so when I'm home and I'm ready to just, I'm just sitting here thinking, like, damn, like if I'm not writing a song or if I'm not making sure that I'm not doing something, like, yo, what's up with a photo shoot, whatever it is, like, then I'm not doing something right. And when did you start, like, start pursuing music? Um, I started taking it serious amongst myself in November, like, what, six months ago. Wow, so you, all right, Ooh, okay, let's rewind, let's rewind, let's rewind. Hey y'all, how y'all doing? So, you started creating music six months ago? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I had, ever since, you know, my dad had was on Love & Hip Hop or whatever, I had wanted to get love. Um, I had got off Instagram, Twitter, and all that for two years. Um, you know, reality hit me, I always with my mom, I was with my mom, and you know, I had a do, I always had a job I had to do for myself. I had got my first crib in Jersey City, then I got my second crib in Garfield. I just moved out my crib in Garfield in February, just for this music shit, but make the story short. Five, se se six, seven months ago, I was just in the crib, and I'm just like, yo, like, I'm, I'm working at Zorro Sounds, I'm doing shipping, and I'm just like, yo, this ain't for me. Like, I'm living check to check. Like, I, I done, I'm, I know what a PSC and G look like, God, like, all right. Like, you done hit me with everything at this point, I feel like. Like, not everything, but as far as that reality standpoint, and this was, what, 18, 17? So, that's when I wrote Goofy Ass Niggas, G A N. That was my first hit. And that was when, that was the first song we shot a video for that. And that's when it blew up ever since. Like, and that was when I really, like, hit it on a nose. And then I teamed up with everything cozy. We got Sean, my manager, been rocking with me since day one. Um, then we got Deep, been rocking with me, so we just been taking off from there, and it's just been going up since November. So yeah, we, yeah. That's so like, it felt like so that you just happened too fast, like because that yo within six so months, yo. Definitely. 
Damn, was you expecting that? You wasn't expecting that? Nah, I mean, honestly, yeah. I was expecting it to be sooner, you know? Me being me, I'm be yeah. honest with you. I wanted it to happen right away, but it's just like, it's, you know, it's just like, it's it's still, it's so fast. I'm just trying to take it in, but I got people around me that hold it down. Like, as long as my people with me, I'm good. Like, right. they hold it down for me and make sure, like, I stay seen and, like, you know. It ain't too yeah. Crazy. So, from the transition of working a job, right, to, to having the success that you've had thus far, how does that make you feel like? Well, I'm just, well, keep in mind, like, I was born in a $3.5 million house. Like, you know, well, I was born in Boston, not in three. So, wait, let's rewind. Who's your father? <coughs> ben Zeno. All right. Okay. From Love and Hip Hop Source Magazine. My dad's an OG, you know, from Boston. All my family's from Boston. My mom and my dad. So, you know, me, when, when we moved from Boston, that's when my dad got the Source Magazine. I guess we had to move to New York. The Source was based in New York. We moved to Upper Saddle River, and I went to school with, what, Russie's kids. Brittany was my best friend. That's Jaru's daughter. Um, and, you know, I grew up with them with Hack and Sag, and then my dad moved to Miami. It was just a whole bunch of growing up. But right. growing up, I lived that lifestyle. Like, my dad had a lot of money, you know what I mean? We lived, we lived in a big house, like, a lot of big houses, pools and everything. So I just feel like now I'm prepared because me taking that break, it gave me, it gave me time to go ahead and actually humble myself, take a gasp of reality, you know what I mean? And actually, now I'm able to do this, and it's like, I'm able to do it by myself, you know? My dad ain't got nothing to do with this at all. Like, he ain't, he don't like my lyrics type type of thing. Like, so, he's my yeah, dad. Like, how does he feel about you being an artist? He don't like, he, he don't, he's my dad. Like, you know, I'm his only daughter. <laughs> yeah, like, my dad. He just don't like it. Like right. he just don't like. Like he don't want me to be the woman that he date. Basically, yeah. and it's just like he don't gotta worry about that. Like you know. And at the end of the day, He's I'm focused. gonna. I'm focused. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna like. I'm gonna turn <laughs> up at the end of the day. Yeah. Um, nah. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna turn up and I'm gonna go crazy. Like I just can't. I can't let. But what does he mean by the woman that the women that he dates? Or like, what does that even mean? Cause it's not no, like, I'm not saying he specifically said that. I'm just oh, saying okay, that in general. Okay. Like he don't, he persuades. Like you know, like being a woman in the industry. A, in the industry, the yeah. women that he dates in the industry, he would not want me to be like. Word. You yeah. know what I mean? I mean and, of and, and the people, of uh, the people he goes to. Of course, of course yeah. I would say because obviously these girls. Wow, wow. <laughs> you know I mean, like wow. not all of them, but, but at the end of the day, it's like so what though? Like I'm, I'm living my life. Right. right. Don't judge me. I don't judge you. That's just wrong now. Yeah, like, and then on top of that, like I don't have my own crib and paper, or rent, bill, car insurance. Like, like nobody tell me shit. You can't tell me shit now. No, like. no, no, I'm gonna do what makes me happy, baby. Baby, <laughs> <laughs> you get the fuck out of it. Crazy. That's like that's like a totally different dynamic than most of the people that you know I might interview. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So like, damn. So so doing this here by yourself, right? What what are you doing to invest in it? So are you investing your own money in it? So in the beginning, in? in the beginning, you know, I started like investing in some own. I, I paid for my own studio time or whatever. That was my first studio session, whatever. And then like. My, Sean, that's when Sean hit me or whatever. I'm not gonna lie, this is after Goofy Ass Nigga. Sean's like, yo, like, I like what you got going on. Like, so wait, Goofy Ass Niggas was in November? Yeah. Goofy Ass yeah, Niggas. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Goofy Ass Niggas dropped in November. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So, you know, Sean's like, yo, I like what you got going on. So I'm just like, nah, like, my way my trust is, I'm just like, fuck that. Like, right. you know, I have my friend or whatever. So then he reached out again, like, yo. This is somebody, like, I, I look at it as, like, you know, if you're gonna, if people would, that, that that type, how I curve Sean, it's like, you would've thought you would've followed me, not support me, like me, he's right. still supported, like, he's still, so I'm just like, alright. Like, oh, whatever. so you curved him at first, yeah, so like, get he, the fuck out of here. Yeah, and like, <laughs> and he reached back out, like, nah, yo, like, I like what you're doing, like, you know what I mean, he was messing with my friend. You know what I mean? I ain't like him, you know, because I was like, that's my friend. You were. He, like, he's a regular nigga to me. Word. Like, you fuck you. I'm just like, all right, let's give him a chance. He came on board and we done fucking made so We done got the everything. Cozy mixtape came through, you know what I mean? And then D came on board and, and, and doubled up. And that's it. Like, 
that's it. Like, you know what I mean? From there, you know, they done held it down. Like, <laughs> held it down. So, mm -hmm. and that's just that's the team. Like, yeah, and I got, you know, I got Neek. Shout out to Neek. She shot all my videos. She's my main photographer and videographer. That's lit. Like, she's, like, been down with me since day one. You know, like, it, it's all about relationships. You don't got to put a price on relationships. Like, if you build a relationship with somebody and you actually genuine and all that, like, somebody would do They'll give you your arm. Like, I'll give them my arm and my leg and they'll know that. You know what I mean? So, so what sign are you? I'm a Taurus. Taurus. Okay, so Taurus is not like real, like loyal and words like that. Loyal, they cool. What? Right? They vibe is different. Like, yeah, you used to like my cousin. She is. She a Taurus. Taurus is lit. Like, yeah, like you know, me, me, me and Nini, we, we Pisces. Yeah. We we stick together. We stick together. Real tight. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know the side. Oh, like, I'll just say. Oh, you said you know, it look like. like. Oh, a, yeah, no. Nah, I must know Libras. I know Virgos and I know Cancer. Hey. It's Sagittarius. Those are the those, those are the ones, ones I, I know. Like to, uh, what Sagittarius? Yeah, Sagittarius, Libras. I get all of them. Sagittarius. <laughs> cricket, cricket. <laughs> Leos. I don't like Leos. <laughs> they, yeah, they're crazy. <laughs> the fucking Aries could go that way. Oh, all the way. Who are some people you want to work with? Um, I want to work with everybody. Like everybody I can get my hands on. Whatever it is. Like whoever is willing to work, let's work. Like as I far as boys. Now as far as like in the industry, like that's like, you know, that comes a long way from like, you know, Maroon 5, and, you know, wow, even the cool. gorillas to whatever. Who else? Khaled, like all the way to him and everybody else, Drake and Rich the Kid. Oh, you trying to win these Rich the Kid tickets? We got two Rich the Kid tickets. We got two Rich the Kid tickets. Oh, man. Send them this one. We got two Rich the Kid tickets to give away. Wait, Yanni, give your social media handle. Y'all already know where to find me. My Instagram is Blasian, B L A S I A N underscore X O. My Twitter is Yanni Monet, Y A N I M O N E A. Shoot. Alright, <laughs> and you know me. Um, you guys can follow me, The Nene Show, T H E N E N E S H O W. The best show ever. Oh, hey. okay. But um, you can follow me on Instagram, and then on Twitter is Nee Raw. Don't do it. K N E R A W. Don't do it, Johnny. Nee Raw. All right, go ahead. Do it. Nee Raw. Thick chick. No flaws. I've been itching to say that. Up. It's a comedy, it's a, a scripted comedy show, and it's gonna be coming out in about October. Like, it's gonna be lit, guys. I really, Yanni's a part of it, you know what I'm saying? I might get Koi to be a part of it, she might be acting. All right, like, we got Wavy Baby being a part of it. Like, this shit is lit. The shit is gonna be real crazy. You heard? Let it know, wavybabydrink.com. Wavy you heard? You Wait, got the flask, you know what I'm saying? You got the cup, you know what I'm saying? So, we're here on Nonfiction Radio every Thursday, 10 p.m. to midnight. Shout out to everybody for coming through, and I will see you next week. Bye. Bye, guys. Love you. Yeah, love you. Can I get some flakes?